Most of what we believe about the best ways to study are absolutely false. Whatever you believe about how best to learn is probably incorrect. The best learning practices are not intuitive. Fortunately, today you will learn the best ways to study. People have different learning styles. Some people prefer to learn by reading. Some people prefer to study in a group. Some people prefer to highlight. Some people call themselves auditory learners. Other people consider themselves visual learners. But guess what? When one looks at the research on preferred learning styles, pretty much all of that melts away. It turns out that the best way to study and learn is defined not by the medium in which that material arrives, whether or not it's auditory or visual or combined, whether or not you review slides or a textbook or you watch small videos, it turns out that the best way to study and learn is to access components of your memory systems that offset forgetting. Rather than think about studying to learn and retain information, I want you to think about studying to offset the natural process of forgetting that everybody experiences when they are exposed to new material of any kind, cognitive or motor learning, musical learning, math, etc. The best way to learn is to think about offsetting the natural forgetting of new information. You're trying to inoculate against forgetting. That is the way to remember things. That is the way to gain mastery over them. And I'm going to teach you how to best do that using the data gleaned from the peer reviewed literature. Now, before I do that, I want to talk about what learning is. Neuroplasticity is this incredible feature of your nervous system, which of course includes your brain and your spinal cord, which is the ability for your nervous system to change in response to experience. So any form of learning involves neuroplasticity. The change that underlies neuroplasticity at the level of cells, which we call neurons or nerve cells, generally involves three different mechanisms. One is the strengthening of certain connections, what we call synaptic connections. Synapses are the location between neurons where they communicate with one another. It's actually a gap between the neurons. And within that gap, chemicals are passed across that gap that allow one neuron to activate other neurons or many neurons to activate many other neurons or to inhibit the activity of other neurons, okay? So one form of neuroplasticity is the strengthening of connections between neurons. Another form of neuroplasticity is the weakening of connections between neurons. And yet a third form of plasticity, which is often discussed in the media, but is very rare actually in the nervous system, especially the adult nervous system of humans, is neurogenesis or the addition of new neurons. The major mechanism by which learning and memory occurs in humans is the strengthening of existing connections and the weakening of existing connections or the formation of new connections between already existing neurons, not new neurons. I want to emphasize that when we hear about weakening of connections, we often think, well, that means forgetting or that means the brain is getting less good. However, so much of the neuroplasticity that underlies, for instance, the acquisition of a new motor skill is actually the reflection of removal of connections. So we don't want to project any kind of value onto a discussion about adding new connections, removing new connections. Let's just leave it at this level mechanistically. Just know that these are the important mechanisms. In fact, if you look at a baby that is, let's say, I don't know, nine months old, their motor skills are not terrific typically compared to the motor skills that that child will have when they are six or seven years old. And believe it or not, the improvement in motor coordination that one observes in humans and other species for that matter, from birth until the adolescence and teen years and adult years is largely the reflection of the removal. That's right, the removal of neural connections as opposed to the formation of neural connections. However, the neural connections that remain become much more robust. They become much more reliable. Most of learning and remembering new material is about offsetting the forgetting process that naturally occurs anytime we hear new information. So I want you to take a brief quiz. Now, the moment people hear quiz or test, Typically, it spikes their adrenaline. They start feeling stressed, but don't worry. You're going to keep your answers to yourself and you're doing this for a very specific purpose. Here's my question. This is a two question quiz. How many different ways, mechanistically speaking, does 
neuroplasticity occur? Is it one mechanism, two mechanisms, or three mechanisms? Okay, can you name two major changes that the nervous system can undergo which are reflective of neuroplasticity? Okay, so the answer to question was, is that there are three different modes of neuroplasticity, as you recall, or as you may not have been able to recall. And by the way, if you were not able to recall the three different modes of neuroplasticity or mechanisms underlying neuroplasticity, that is fine. As you'll soon realize, recognizing the errors in your information retention is another critical and very useful way to retain more information, even if you got the answer wrong or you didn't know. In fact, especially if you got the answer wrong or you didn't know. So the three ways are the strengthening of neural connections, second, the weakening of neural connections, and third, through neurogenesis, the addition of new neurons. Why did I provide this quiz? Why did I test you? Well, as you'll soon learn, if you look across the total body of research on how best to study and learn, it involves doing exactly what we just did, which is to periodically stop and test yourself on the material that you learned. Testing is not just a way of evaluating what knowledge you've acquired and which knowledge you have not managed to acquire. It also turns out to be the best tool for offsetting forgetting of any kind. The more tests that you take as a way to expose you yourself to the material, the better you're going to perform on that material at some later point. Now, of course, at some point, you have to be exposed to the material for the first time, right? That's why it's studying and learning. But after one exposure to new material, taking more tests on that material, even if you don't perform that well on those tests, as long as you're able to see the accurate answers to those tests and compare your answers to those answers will lead to better performance on the ultimate test and retention of that material at some later time. Put differently, it's not about how many times you study the material or how many times you're exposed to the material. It's about being exposed to the material, doing your best to focus and attend to that material, and then self-testing yourself on that material. Or as the case may be, if an, an instructor is the one giving you the test, but nonetheless, taking tests on that material, not just once, but ideally two or three times, that's what really locks the material into your neural circuits. That's what's going to lead to the most pervasive change, the most durable change, we should say, in your neural circuits that carry that material, that hold that material in your mind, what we call neural encoding. The more times you test yourself or that you are tested on material, the better your retention of that material. Now, some people will immediately say, well, goodness, what if I learned it and then I'm tested and I'm somehow consolidating the wrong or inaccurate material, but it doesn't appear to be the case. As long as you learn what the correct answers to the tests are, even if you're getting, you know, 40 or 50% or less accurate on those tests that you take immediately after the studying period, that's still going to be a better strategy than rereading the material, which ought to be somewhat surprising. It certainly was surprising to me.